y'all ready for this? On March 17th, Tom Brady took to his Instagram to break the news that he would not be returning to the New England for his 21st season. He wrote two letters. In one, he thanked owner Robert Kraft, head coach Bill Belichick, and his teammates who he spent all those years winning championships with. He also wrote a personal letter to the fans thanking them for all their support throughout his illustrious career as a Patriot that brought a tear to many eyes. The next day, news broke that he was going to sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are loaded with weapons on offense. Brady should have success with his new team. When Drew Bledsoe got hurt on Sunday, September 23, 2001, Coach Belichick stuck backup quarterback Tom Brady, the 199th draft pick from the University of Michigan, into the game. Bledsoe never returned as Tom Brady led the Pats to an 11-5 record and the franchise's first Super Bowl, Tom led the Patriots to two more Super Bowls in the next three years after the first. Tom Terrific went on to be the greatest NFL player of all times with runs like 2007, almost completing the first undefeated season since the amount of games changed. He went 18-0 with the Patriots and threw a then record 50 touchdowns. He wasn't done yet as he went on to bring the Pats to two more Super Bowls in the next seven years, winning one in 2014 when Malcolm Butler intercepted Russell Wilson on the goal line with under 30 seconds left. Tom went into the 2016 season at 39 years old with doubt on his ability and legacy with only four Super Bowls to his name. Tom shut everyone up and led his team to another Super Bowl. His his seventh appearance in the big game, but he found himself down 28-3 to headed into the fourth quarter. Tom came through again, leading the charge back to force overtime, where they ultimately won, giving Tom Super Bowl MVP. In 2019, Tom went on to win his final championship as a Patriot. He further cemented himself as the greatest of all time, and as I like to call him, Mr. Patriot. And here is Ben Fowler with his take on what the Patriots should do next season and beyond without Tom Brady. Now listen up, Patriots fans. We have to stink next year. Now please, hear me out. My lord and savior, Bill Belichick, you too. We need to lose as many games as possible. Sorry, Jarrett Stidham. We can be competitive as long as we're not winning. Trust the process. If we have one of the two worst records in the league, we get a top two pick in next year's draft. There are two quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, with Hall of Fame potential that could replace Tom Brady as the face of the franchise for 15 more years and hopefully deliver more rings to the city of champions. I know it'll be unfamiliar territory and it may hurt to watch our team struggle, but it will all be worth it if we get either of those elite gunslingers. One year at the bottom is better than eight years of mediocrity. Belichick, please take my advice. Let Tom Brady win the divorce for a little. While he hangs up in a few years, you can keep hoisting Lombardi trophies and forever cement that you could do it without him. When he's inducted into the Hall of Fame and his career is all a memory, you can still be on top of the world, further building your legacy with at least one ring on all ten of your fingers. 